Hey, how you doing, man? Welcome back to the Coffee Bean Experience. This is Dave. And this is Isaiah. Right on, man. You should probably not take a drink when you are uh, about to be introduced. Yeah, I hear that. Yeah. So anyway, uh, this is actually Isaiah's idea that um, we thought, hey, we should probably do an actual session on coffee. <laughs> We actually haven't done a session on coffee, and you could tell yep. Isaiah's already got his almost drank. Like, no, I don't. I asked that. for I asked for small and a large. Is that is that decaf? By the way, is your coffee decaf, man? I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think so. Yeah, you don't think so. I don't think so. Yeah. So, just a little fatherly advice to all you guys out there: we don't let my kids drink caffeinated beverages until they're adults, and they can choose their own dietary habits. Because actually, what am I drinking right here, Isaiah? I have no idea. You tell me. You a ordered decaf, it. coconut milk, raspberry white mocha. I don't need the caffeine. I'm naturally. Uh, <laughs> all right. You don't need the caffeine, actually, Isaiah. Mm, yeah. So anyway, it's not the point of our session, actually. Yeah. The point of our session is uh, coffee. Yeah. So. Which, because we haven't done one of these and our name is the Coffee Bean Experience. It's only fitting. Yep. And we do live in the Pacific Northwest, which is in like the coffee home of hub. coffee beans and it's, whatnot. It's the coffee hub of 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 the world, mainly because of Starbucks. But we thought we'd be revolutionary and giving a shout out again to One Honey Bra Dutch, Dutch Bros. Bros. Decided to do finally a session on coffee because why Isaiah? Well, first of all, our name is the Coffee Bean Experience, so it's true. Not, like I, like I said, coffee it's only experience. fitting, but um. Well, I mean, like, there's we we live in the Pacific Northwest, and like we're this is like home of coffee, coffee extraordinaires. We got Dutch Bros, we got Starbucks, we got um, Gravity, Pacific Point. What is it called? Pacific Cutter, Cutter, Cutter's Point, Cutter's, Cutter's Point. Point, Gravity. Um, Gravity. and we have a bunch of Seattle's little best. coffees. Seattle's best coffee. Seattle's did best. Did you yeah. did you know this? I don't know if you knew this, Isaiah. Did you know uh, who owns Seattle's best coffee? I have no idea. Oh wait, it's a it's a hotel, right? Oh, I don't know. I have no idea. Comment below if you know, because I have no idea. Help me out. We should do a prize. I would be willing to do a gift card to the first person that comments on one of our shows. I'm actually not going to tell you. And if you Google it, you deserve to go to confession for <laughs> cheating. No, we're not doing a prize yet. we got to find a way to do a prize like that. But, but prove that they actually knew and not just googled it we'd have to do a live stream a live stream yeah for they sure have, they could still google their phone is going to be right there well well okay well in that case there's really no way to do it unless we had like someone on the show with us mm. yeah anyway i'll just tell you guys since i happen to know <laughs> seattle's best coffee is owned by starbucks no way about five years ago or so they bought out Seattle's Best, and they kept it Seattle's Best. Do you, does crazy. anybody know probably why of you uh, budding entrepreneurs, why Starbucks would keep um, the name Seattle's Best? The, they kept the, all the recipes the same. They kept all the, the how they um, roast the beans the same, everything. They kept it to the same, Isaiah, to secure market shares, to keep growing so that that people that liked Seattle's best could have Seattle's best and people that liked Starbucks could have Starbucks. That's crazy. Yeah. So anyway, so we are the hub of coffee here in the um, Northwest. The Northwest. Yep. Uh, we're also a hub of the hiking, hub of the crappiest weather ever. No we way, have, dude. We have we some have, of the most beautiful summers. We have beautiful summers, but, hey, but we have terrible summers. We're going to keep this session short and sweet. We're diving right into coffee. Yep. And unfortunately, I'm talking to a guy. Isaiah, why don't you tell us why, who you like the best and why? Because this is kind of funny for, okay. all you, for, all you guys, for all you ladies, especially ladies, gentlemen that really love your coffee. This is, this is going to be hilarious. I don't Check really, I don't personally, if this was like, if we had like a scout and we like got to pick people to come on the show for this episode... I wouldn't. I'm not fitting to be on the show for this episode. First of all, I don't even really drink coffee. Fair I have enough. It I'm once, glad you acknowledge. I have that. it once an other week at my grandma's house. She's like really nice to me, and she's just like makes me a cup of coffee with breakfast in the morning. But that's like it. And then every once in a while, I'll, I'll splurge on a Starbucks drink. But like very rarely do I ever drink coffee. I get, I get rebels. 
at Dutch Bros. If I get anything, I get a and Rebel. And what's a, what's a Rebel for it's, those that um, maybe so have it Dutch Bros has their own, to... like, energy drink. It's called Rebel. Kind of like Gravity. Gravity Coffee yeah. has their own energy drink. However, um, you can put different flavors. And I've just literally tried, like, almost everything. And it's all really good. Dragon yeah. Slayer. If you ever go, get a Dragon Slayer. They're really good. Yeah. And, yeah. So <laughs> I, I'm going to full confession here. I'm not actually the best person to have on here. So we are actually two of the worst people to the do. The newbiest people to, to be on this show. An episode on For this episode. Because I actually just drink, this is just a decaf coconut milk because I'm, I'm not lactose intolerant. Actually, I'm actually allergic to dairy. And so I just don't, I mean, I like, I kind of, the co- the flavor of coffee's grown on me since I married your mom and she loves coffee. So we'll have to have her on, like have a couple coffee people yeah. on. You know what we could we do? We need to Isaiah? just get, you know what we need to do? There's a microphone, it's called the, it's called the Spark, it's by Yeti. Good Mythical Morning uses it. And they use just one of it. Good mythical morning. They use just one of it, and it it picks up both Rhett and Link really good. Once we get this this channel going, and we actually How much get does like, that cost? I think it's three hundred. <laughs> so we could sell both these microphones and get it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think you know what we could do also is what? have two guests come on that are coffee experts, like your mom and someone else, and not even be on the show. Let them run the show. Oh, that'd be cool. Whoa. That would be tight. And they'd each be yeah, on but the we'd have to show them how. We'd have to show them. I mean, ropes. we could set it up for them and listen. And we could be in the background blah, 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 a little bit, maybe little cameos like yeah. you know, running through the screen. We could. Yeah. Anyway, so so that is Isaiah's take on why uh Okay, but really coffee. quickly, if you want hold on, here's my piece of advice. If you want variety, like you're not a big coffee drinker, which is pretty ironic because we're talking about coffee, but I don't want to talk about coffee. So if you're not a big coffee drinker, but you like variety and you like fruits and you like energy drinks and you like things like that. You go to Dutch Bros. You want coffee? You go to you go to you go to Starbucks. Unfortunately, I think if that is his reasoning, my my humble opinion, if that's his reasoning for going to Dutch Bros, I think Gravity is just as good as Dutch Bros. I don't know. I like Gravity's energy drinks better because I'll actually Isaiah and I are a lot alike. I like Gravity's energy drinks and Dutch Bros energy drinks better than I do like normal coffee drinks. Yeah, I got a sweeter tooth. Yeah, I got personally. a sweeter tooth too. So. But I've grown accustomed to coffee, and you know what I've found about that I really appreciate about Starbucks? What? They are very consistent. Yeah, that's with true. With the drinks they make, so yeah, they have a that's, that's true. The, that is the and that is uh, the benchmark of a really good franchise to be consistent. You go to McDonald's, you know exactly what you're getting. That's true. If you don't like a McDonald's burger, that's fine. But you know what? Any McDonald's you go to. You you're know you're gonna, getting crappy burgers. No, no. I mean, actually, I like a big good. Big I like them, but like big they're Mac? not like quality. Big Mac. They're not quality. So anyway, I I going back to Starbucks. Um, I respect Starbucks because everywhere I've gone in the United States, anyway, continental United States, that is, the Starbucks they all except for, what's the one exception to that with Starbucks? Um, good coffee. No, the good good. Your mom would Seattle's say best. Great coffee. Seattle's no. best. The one I exception. Have no idea. Is the Starbucks in Safeways or in other oh, stores? Oh, okay. Those are because those are cheaper. Those are they're not, not just cheaper. cheaper. They're but they're, they're like, like I don't. Their employees they hire aren't as high quality. They're employees of Safeway. They're not really Starbucks employees, right? And so they're not held to the same standards. That's so true. Those, That's true. Those drinks get a little flaky. But if you go to a Starbucks, like a, a franchise store, actual independent Starbucks store, I don't forget the name of it, but um. You'll get a really good drink. Uh, you'll get a consistent drink across the nation. So, yeah, but they're like um, the thing I like more about Dutch. Like, if you're especially if you're looking to work there, like I like how you can be yourself. Like, coffee has a lot of rest- like uh, not coffee. Star, sorry, Starbucks. They have a lot of restrictions on like what you have to wear. They've, what loosened, y- they've loosened a lot up. Dude. They have, but like Dutch Bros. You can. You can have, have you seen the Dutch Bros. in place? Yeah. But now Starbucks, I mean, I mean, I'm just saying Starbucks totally changed all their policies. That's like, true. You can have piercings now. They can have tattoos now. Um, shoot. They have all kind of dyed hair and actually they've even changed up their clothing. They're not quite as loose as Dutch bros, but no, they're not. But that's kind of a lame, like this is supposed to be on coffee, Isaiah. So let's, <laughs> let's talk a little bit about, do you know, um, do you know, like what the slam on Starbucks roast is? Their coffee I have beans? no idea. 
People say, <laughs> and I don't know this is true. I'm, so we're really kind of, we're doing an intro to coffee beans. And, uh, but, you know, we're not connoisseurs, experts of coffee beans. Which, again, is pretty funny because, like. Coffee bean experience. Coffee bean experience. That is kind of funny. It is hilarious. <laughs> Just a little bit. We call that ironic. It's only me. Um, the slam on Starbucks is Fire. That the slam on Starbucks, Isaiah, is that they <laughs> overburn their beans. Oh. They, they, they burn, they like, I don't know if it's burn, if that's the word, but they over roast them. Okay. I see that. Yeah. And so that's that, f- that Starbucks flavor that now, oh, do you know another really good coffee stand in Tacoma area? No. They roast their own beans. I've just heard this from people like actual coffee connoisseurs that love coffee. Bluebeard Coffee in Tacoma. Never heard of them. Never heard of them because they're small little franchise, dude. They don't. They have, I think they only have one store, maybe two. Bluebeard Coffee. I should take you there sometime. Um, they is have their it own, like a store, or like a like a like a gravity coffee? Because the gravity coffee you can't walk in. Yeah. No, you can. Yes, you can. Oh, you can. Yeah. There's a walk-in part for gravity. Oh, I but it's in. tiny, right? It's tiny, but they've got some seating and TVs. Yeah, and that's true. Oh no, wait, no. Bluebeard is yeah, actually so. a coffee place, and you can see their roasters. It's kind of like a brew house if you've ever oh, been. Oh, that's tight. To, yeah, yeah. It's off Sixth Ave and Sprague. If you're ever in Tacoma, a little shout out to Tacoma, the T town. That's our hometown. Um, we love Tacoma, and so that's tight. Yeah, I never knew that. Yep, Bluebeard Dude, coffee. You learn something new every day. Yep. That's yep. kind of cool. Now, people like Bluebeard and then um, even Seattle's Best before they got bought out by Starbucks, their slam on Starbucks was that they burn their ro- they like burn their beans. They they over roast them. So, and that's that Starbucks taste you get when you Now, other roasters would say, "Hey, we actually have different kind of roasting techniques and we have different things we do to create different flavors." So, Anyway, but I I will go on from the coffee bean, uh, coffee cut topic. I do like teas. Do you like teas? Yeah, they're pretty good. I again, I have a sweet tooth, so like tea that has no flavor to me isn't very good. Like I can drink it, yeah, and I, if it has health benefits. What about when you say no flavor, but they have flavor just from brewing the blueberry? Yeah, but they're not sweet. They're not oh, sweet. Right. So that's so that. But you, so you're, uh, for me, it has to be kill me sugar. If you've ever had a rebel. Yeah. Just a rebel. You're just, you know what I'm talking you're about. You're young, it's, dude. It's just kill me sugar. You're if young. it's not kill me sugar, then it's not very good. Yeah, you're young. Pretty soon when you get older, sugar will get too much sugar give you headaches. I'm not kidding. Oh, I believe it. Yeah, that's like like sugary alcoholic drinks give give people headaches. So, but, so that's interesting. So even if I brewed you like this really cool peach um, ginger tea, you wouldn't appreciate it because if it doesn't have no. sugar. <laughs> Let me answer well, that. No. I I because I do. Like I'd teas. like it. I'd like it, but it wouldn't be like, oh, this is so good. Like, oh my word, yeah. it's so good. We'll have to. I mean, like this is okay. Hold on, sorry. What, yeah, what do you got there? You never explained. Okay, your, yeah. Oh, so here's so, my, my drink was a decaf, uh, decaf <laughs> coconut milk. Again, I decaf. I don't. I don't need the caffeine. I'm already high strung. Decaf coconut milk, raspberry white mocha. That was mine. It was. It was decent. It's. About the third, fourth one I've had from Dutch Bros. So I got there. I've never actually, believe it or not, I've had coffee from like Starbucks. Never had coffee from Dutch Bros. First time. Kind of, oh. kind of crazy. But, so what, um, what is the actual? What drink? Did so you I got there um, on their menu right now. It's their caramelizer. It's pretty decent. Mm. It's pretty decent. But I got, I got a small caramelizer with, in a large cup with extra whipped cream. But I didn't end up drinking the whipped cream. So like. Yeah, that's it's, sweet, dude. It's pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually not very sweet to me. So another <laughs> really good drink that I've had, and these are, and again, I'm, I, I'm full disclosure, I'm not really a coffee. Did you know that the Cutter's Point in Tacoma off 6th Ave and Orchard? Does it matter specifically what Cutter's Point? Yes, because these people get their caramel. It's a whiskey caramel from a guy that makes it himself in oh, Tacoma. Oh, dang. And so you do, if you get their caramel, their whiskey caramel frappuccino or whatever, I need to get one of those for you. That guy's caramel, that whiskey caramel thing is so good. Can you good. get drunk off of it? I, I don't, I think the the alcohol level gets brewed out of it like, um, when he, as he's making it. Bummer. Yeah. It's depressing. So, I don't, I don't think you... We should do a beer episode. Well, we yeah, we will do a beer one. Right now we're doing coffee. 
look out for that one. It's coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I teach my kids the right way to, um, you know, appreciate the real good stuff. You know, our our German blood with beer. Um. Anyway, we'll do an episode on beer. But anyway, that yep. Cutter's Point off of 6th Avenue Orchard in Tacoma again. But but I guess my point I would say to you guys is try to talk to your local baristas and see if they because like I'm I'm I just asked them one day I haven't had one in a while but I was stopping by the cutters on the way to soccer training and I just asked them I said man what this this whiskey caramel is so delicious where do you get that from and and they were like hey a local guy makes it for us we're the only cutters point that actually has this whiskey caramel. Sneak peek um, yeah, so next episode. If you guys are listening to this, secret menu. We're gonna do. We're gonna do a secret menu. I will do it. This guy Tef secret. Definitely so we're, we're gonna research a bunch so of secret. So yeah. So I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna bring them to you. I'm gonna coffee up on screen, and we're gonna watch you. Then list them out to you, and we're gonna talk about them. I will show for you for about 10, 15 minutes. It's gonna be the next one. So this is the coffee experience. Talking about coffee today, Dutch bro. So what do you read? And I'm sorry. Hold it real quickly on that note, Isaiah. And next time we do, I just said. I just said beans. We, I just said we'll we. actually get like you're gonna, you know so my you're wife Shelly loves coffee. I'm not gonna go yeah. around yeah. maybe even figure out the audio maybe we'll that. get we'll get another person <laughs> on here that really knows <laughs> coffee. Podcast, um, yeah, yeah. with the Google bar to, to kind of you know no we should keep these kind of give you guys a real taste of expertise. Yeah, for sure. Not well, now I can talk about where you just say you're gonna that episode comes up. But you, y'all better be listening. You should, like, if you're really going to go visit stores, so, that's yeah, cool. So this has been the coffee experience, talking about coffee. So wait, wait, wait. And these little what do you rate here. your drink? So list your drink. <laughs> what do you rate it? Out of 10. Okay, Mine. anyway, we're going back to the podcast now, right? Yeah, right. Uh, Someone's tired. Is is this like compared to <laughs> everywhere I've been? Yeah, just out of ten. Yeah, so I'm gonna no, I'm that, gonna research a bunch of different other things. Secret so, menu. I, I guess I'll just I'm, wrong. I'm giving it. I'm not gonna lie. Don't. Five. Five. I will do it. This it guy def- decent. Definitely has a ton more time. So than me. I'm not gonna so, run myself. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that, and then I'm gonna bring them all to you. I'm gonna put them up on screen, and if you're not watching this, I definitely prefer Starbucks better. I will just list them. I give Starbucks like a seven or eight. Yeah. Dang. So, so I give uh, this, this has been like, the coffee experience talking again, about coffee, coffee today. Coffee Dutch bros. So I give and, and hold, sorry, like, uh, hold it real quickly on that note, Isaiah. And next time we do an episode on coffee beans, we'll actually language, get like good, you know my wife Shelly. She loves coffee. Six point five. Maybe we'll get we'll get another person on here that really knows coffee. All right. So this has been this has been the coffee experience. My name's Isaiah. Check out And yeah, we'll see you. We'll see you again. Give you guys a real taste of expertise. Yeah, for sure. Now I can talk about beer. So when that episode comes up, you y'all better be listening because that'll <laughs> be a great episode. So yeah, so this has been the coffee Bean experience talking about coffee. So wait, wait, wait. What do you rate your drink? So list your drink. What do you rate it out of ten? Mine. Uh, Someone's tired. Is is this like compared to everywhere I've drank? No, just out of drink? ten. Straight out of ten. No, I know that, but it has to be compared to other things.